In this video, we will solve a linear equation in one variable with variable terms on both sides of the equation. It's important to remember as we go through the solution process, we will be creating equivalent equations and therefore whatever operation we perform on one side of the equation, we must also perform on the other. The first step is to simplify each side of the equation by clearing the parentheses and combining like terms, which means for the given equation, we begin by distributing the four on the left side of the equation. Four times a is equal to four a, plus four times three is 12. We still have plus seven, and then equals on the right side a, or one a, plus 12. The coefficient of one on the a is optional, but it can help when combining like terms. We're still working on step one because we can still simplify the left side of the equation by combining like terms. 12 plus seven is equal to 19. The left side of the equation simplifies to four a plus 19, and our equation is four a plus 19 equals one a plus 12. This equation is still equivalent to the original equation, it's just now the left side of the equation is simplified. Step two is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation. Notice how we have four a on the left side of the equation and one a on the right side of the equation. Let's isolate the variable term on the left side of the equation, which means we need to undo positive one a on the right side of the equation, and we do this by subtracting one a, again on both sides of the equation, so the result is an equivalent equation. Now we simplify. 4a minus 1a, or 4a minus a is 3a. The left side is 3a plus 19, and then equals on the right side, 1a minus 1a, or a minus a is equal to zero, which is the reason why we subtracted 1a on both sides of the equation. Notice the right side simplifies to 12. Again, this equation is equivalent to the original equation, but now we have the variable term on one side of the equation. But we're still not done with step two because we have not isolated the variable term on one side. On the left side we have three a plus 19. We don't want this plus 19 here. We need to undo plus 19 by subtracting 19 on both sides of the equation. And again we simplify. On the left we have three a and then 19 minus 19 is zero which again is the reason why we subtracted 19 on both sides. We have three a equals, on the right side, 12 minus 19 is equivalent to 12 plus negative 19, which is equal to negative seven. Again, three a equals negative seven is equivalent to the original equation, but in this form, the variable term is isolated. This takes us to step three, where we multiply or divide to isolate the variable, which will give us the solution to the equation. And because three a means three times a, to undo this multiplication and solve for a, we divide both sides by three. Now we simplify again. Three divided by three simplifies to one. One times a is a. We have a equals negative seven thirds. And again, this is an equivalent equation to the original equation, but now because it's solved for a, this gives us the solution. The solution is a equals negative seven thirds. Let's verify this is correct by making sure it does satisfy the equation by substituting negative seven thirds for a and making sure the expression on the left has the same value as the expression on the right. Performing the substitution for a, we have four times the quantity a, which is negative seven thirds, plus three, and then plus seven equals a, which again is negative seven thirds plus 12. Let's evaluate both expressions using a calculator. Let's first evaluate the expression on the left side of the equation, which is four, and then times negative seven thirds plus three, close parenthesis, plus seven, enter. As a decimal, we have 9.6 repeating. Let's convert this to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter. And now let's verify the expression on the right side of the equation is also equal to 29 thirds. On the left side we have the expression negative seven thirds plus 12. Enter. We can see from the decimal 
the two expressions do have the same value or equal. Let's also convert to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter. So both sides of the equation simplify to 29 thirds. And because 29 thirds is equal to 29 thirds, this verifies our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.